To a child growing up during the 1950s, Christmas was a time for joy and celebration. And of course, plenty of gifts under the tree. And if your birthday was in early December, a double dose of gifts could be the end result. In 1956, I received the brand new 6376 circus car for my birthday and the brand new 3424 brakeman car for Christmas. As usual, I also got plenty of new clothes, but it was the Lionel trains from the 1956 catalog that I really wanted. Anyway, 1956 was a great year for Lionel 2, as they introduced the colorful 2350 New Haven Electric and one of the all-time collectible classics, the 2341 Jersey Central. But instead of my reminiscing, let's see what 1956 really had to offer. The first set featured in the 1956 catalog was number 1542, and it included three common freight cars. With a 1995 suggested retail price, this starter set introduced the new 520 GE 80-ton electric. The 520 was equipped with a black plastic pantograph, which is often broken or missing. A much rarer pantograph was cast in several shades of copper plastic. The 520 also headed an uncatalogued set that included the rare 6014 Chung King instead of a Baby Ruth. 1955 and 56 examples of the Baby Ruth were a truer red than 1954's, and the crossing pattern by the inside center plug was different. The new 627 Lehigh Valley 44 tonner pulled set 1543 and included two new freight cars, the 6121 pipe car and 6112 canister car, along with the 6017 caboose. Although the caboose is common, sometimes the harder to find version with the number underlined and extra data was included. However, a real prize was a 6112 canister car with black rubber stamp lettering instead of white. Of the 544 tonners, only the 627 was made without a headlight. The new 629 Burlington headed three car passenger set 1552 and included the 2434 Newark Pullman, 2432 Clifton Vista Dome, and 2436 Summit Observation. These passenger cars were basically the same as 1955's, except the knuckle pins became shiny instead of blackened, and the stock number was omitted from all four sides on the original box. In excellent condition, the silver-painted 629 can bring a premium price, especially if the original box is included. Four car freight set 1545 included the new 628 Northern Pacific and two new cars, the 6025 Golf single dome tank car and 6424 automobile flat car. Just like the 6414, the autos for the 6424 were protected by a cardboard container. Another important uncatalogued set was the Sears four car freight set 9602 that included the new 626 Baltimore and Ohio, possibly the rarest of the 44 tonners. What makes this set unique is the 626 wasn't illustrated in the consumer catalog until 1957. And until recently, most train guides incorrectly reported 1957 as the only year of production. However, the 1956 Sears Christmas catalog explained set 9602 was pulled by a B&O diesel with headlight. And although the engine illustrated had Northern Pacific graphics, it was numbered 626. The final proof is found in an August 1956 Lionel service manual listing. Headed by the 1615, set 1549 has become a collector favorite mainly because it included the harder to find red plastic 6262 wheel car, which was brand new. The common version was molded in black plastic. This set included the 6560 crane car with the number 6560-25 heat stamped on the frame and the orange 6119-25 work caboose with the 25 suffix on the car and on the box. Some 1955 boxes were also used, and a rubber stamp 25 was added. 
The next two sets, 1551W and 1557W, were both headed by the brand new 621 Jersey Central diesel switcher, and each set included new cars. Set 1551W featured the new 6425 Golf 3-dome tank car and 6562-25 New York Central canister car with the 25 suffix on the box, not on the car. Set 1557W included the scarce 6511 brown plastic pipe car. The 1956 box had a 6511-21 inner flap number instead of 19 that was used in 1955. The 6436-25 also had a different box than 1955's. It was smaller, had a 36 inner flap number instead of 30, and of course, the stock number was omitted from all four sides. Since it was included in two sets, a second run for the 621 was likely and would account for variations molded in royal blue or navy blue plastic. In 1956, the 2018 headed two four-car freight sets, 1547S and 1555WS. The cars in set 1547S are common, but a few things need to be mentioned. Although a yellow pipe car was illustrated in the catalog, the gray version was usually included. Once again, the number was on the box, not on the car. The gray pipe car had white die stamp lettering, the yellow car had black. Some yellow pipe cars were stamped with white lettering and are very scarce. In 1956, Lionel's packaging of the 6257 caboose can be confusing. At first glance, the caboose appeared the same as 1955's, as it included the circle L. This was clearly shown in the consumer catalog. Even so, the 1956 version was molded in red plastic and given a 50 suffix on the box only. By comparison, the majority of 1955 examples were painted red with a 25 suffix on the box only. Lionel even rubber stamped a 50 suffix on some leftover 6257 boxes, as well as some 1956 generic boxes that had a 12-11 inner flap number. To make matters worse, Lionel removed the circle L above the 6257 and then completely switched the lettering around. Either way, the caboose was still a 6257-50 box only. Of course, the only difference between the two was the 6257-25 had a rear brake wheel. The 6257-50 did not. One final note. Lionel continued to use a three-digit set box numbering system that was introduced in 1955. So set 1547S could also be purchased as set 702. Set 1555WS included the new 6464-400 Baltimore and Ohio boxcar that was made with two different built dates. The common version was heat stamp 554, whereas the harder to find version had 256. Some rarer examples were even made with 554 on one side of the car and 256 on the other side of the same car. The gondola was usually the red plastic 6464-125 New York Central with the 125 suffix on the box only. The 1956 box was shorter than 1955's. The 2338 Milwaukee Road was cataloged for the second straight year and headed two five-car freight sets. Set 1553W included the brand new 6430 trailer flat car. 6464-425 New Haven boxcar and 6346 Alcoa car. The 6430 was included in four other sets and for separate sale. So variations exist with an orange Cooper Jarrett nameplate and one that was copper colored. In 1956, the N in New Haven used a style of printing that collectors referred to as the half serif N. Set 1559W included the brand new 3494-275 operating state of Maine boxcar. 
Some cars, probably from the first run, were made without the number on the car. All that's shown is the word B-A-R. A rare example was also made with the number on one side of the car and only the word B-A-R on the other side. The 2328 Burlington pulled the classy four-car passenger set 1562W. This set included brand new red stripe 027 cars, the 2444 Newark Pullman, two 2442 Clifton Vista domes, and the 2446 Summit Observation. In 1956, Lionel's mighty 2065 pulled two five-car freights. Set 1561WS included the new 3424 operating brakeman car that usually had the white painted man. Other cars included a black plastic 6262 wheel car, 6430 trailer flat car, 6562-25 canister car, and a 6257-50 caboose. Because of the 6262, two openings were made in the flat car mold 6424-11. The platform tabs fit into the openings and help keep the structure in place. The last catalog set to feature a 2065 was set 1565 WS. It was also the very first set to include the new 3650 searchlight extension car. The last two 027 sets were pulled by F3s. The new 2240 Wabash headed five car freight 1563W and included the new 6467 miscellaneous car. The 2240 Wabash had a single motor. The 2367 Wabash from 1955 had a double motor. The white interrupted stripes of a 2240B unit did not extend the full length of the shell. The stripes on the 2367B unit did. The 2243 Santa Fe headed five car freight 1567W. Besides the new brakeman car and the trailer flat car, an accessory was also included. The new 3356 operating horse car and Corel. This set also included the last variation of the 6672 as the black lettered car was missing the Lionel Circle L. The brand new 601 headed four car freight 2255W and included one new car we haven't covered, the 6119-50 brown plastic work caboose and a few variations. The 601 came with red painted stripes that were squared while others had stripes that were rounded. The 3424 brakeman car came with a blue rubber man with face and hands painted a flesh color. A white painted version was also used in 1956. During the production of set 2255W, Lionel began stamping the crane car without the 25 suffix. It still used, however, the same cab plate as before, although Lionel began experimenting with hand wheels that were solid instead of open. The 2331 Blue and Yellow Virginian headed five car freight 2267W that included the new 6419-50 work caboose with the suffix on the box, not on the car. The 6419-50 was almost the same as the 6419. However, it used a smaller size smokestack as issued with the 6517 bay window caboose. In 1956, the shell for the 2331 Virginian was molded in blue plastic so only yellow paint needed to be applied. However, some gray plastic shells, possibly left over from 1955, were also used. In this instance, the Virginia needed both yellow and blue paint. This example of the 2331 Virginian is very scarce. One of the most valuable and sought after of all the post-war Lionel locomotives is the 2341 Jersey Central 
that had a three-car passenger set, 2270W. This set was probably the first to use the wide-channel old-gauge passenger cars. The wide-channel cars were introduced in 1955 and were necessary for the application of the striping for the congressional cars. In 1955, the Congressional was the last passenger set made, so it's most likely that the wide channel cars were first used in its production. Even so, the 2531 Silver Dawn observation is often found with the rib channels and glued on nameplates. We believe Paul Ambrose's comments in Greenberg's Guide to Lionel Train's Volume 3 set best describes what occurred. Ambrose stated, they should all be the flat channel type, but it is not inconceivable for a rib channel glued plate to surface with this set. Keep in mind that once a passenger car was boxed, there was no sure way other than reopening the box of telling what type of car was in that box. Finally, in regards to the 2341 Jersey Central, there are two variations. The common version was painted a dull orange. The rarer example, glossy orange. The new 2350 New Haven Electric pulled two five-car freights. Set 2259W included the new 3650 searchlight extension car. The action was pretty neat as the searchlight could be extended by unraveling the plastic simulated cable. The caboose in this set was a 6427-1 with the suffix on the box only. The 2350 also pulled set 2263W and included the new 6468-25 automobile car with the half serif N. The N was heat stamped in black, as was the lettering New Haven. However, this set sometimes included the rarer reversed letter variation of the 6468. In this example, the N and New Haven were heat stamped in white. The shells for the reverse New Havens were molded in either a bright or dull orange plastic, as were the common versions. Also, New Havens with the full serif N were made in both colors and were probably packaged in 1956 as well. There are also variations of the 2350 New Haven. Most New Havens used a decal for the front and rear nose. However, rarer examples were painted. The N and New Haven on the side of the shell were heat stamped in white, while the other information was heat stamped in red. A collector favorite is the reverse color New Haven. In this instance, the N and New Haven were heat stamped in orange, and the other information in black. Reverse color 2350s with a painted nose are scarce and valuable. Pages 20 and 21 of the 1956 Consumer Catalog illustrated three five-car freight sets. The powerful 646 pulled set 2261 WS and included the brand new 6376 circus car. The caboose included in the set was a 6417-1 with the suffix on the box only. The 665 headed set 2257 WS and included two new cars, the 6346 Alcoa car and 6467 miscellaneous car that came without a load. The gondola was often a red painted 6462-75 with the N in the third panel, but a red plastic 125 is fine just the same. The mighty 736 pulled set 2265 WS and included the new action car, the 3424 operating brakeman car. This was the fourth straight year the 736 was cataloged, and of course, it wouldn't be the last. The warning poles for the brakeman car were offered as a replacement accessory and came box 3424-100.
However, a single pull was also offered and that box was numbered 3424-75. The 2378 Milwaukee Road pulled five car freight 2273W and was the first set since the late 1940s to include a large accessory, namely the 342 operating culvert loader. The 6342 culvert car included in the set caused a modification to the frame. A small opening was made as the ramp was riveted. This hole is also visible on the 6562 series cars, although examples made before the modification did not. The 2378 Milwaukee Road came with or without the yellow heat stamp stripe below the roof line. Another variation was a power unit without the stripe and the B unit with the stripe. This could be considered sloppy housekeeping or quality control. The 2368 Baltimore and Ohio pulled five car freight 2269W and included the new 6315 Golf single dome tank car, 6518 transformer car, and 3356 operating horse car and Corel. The 2368 was painted over a light blue plastic shell and then decorated accordingly. Some were painted over a gray plastic shell and are quite rare. Some of the light blue shells were also used in the manufacturing of the 2240 Wabash and are also rare. The 6315 was made in several shades of orange and the glossy version is the collector favorite. The 3356 horse car was offered as a replacement accessory and came boxed 3356-2 box only. The 2360-25 GG1 headed five car freight 2271W and included the 6418 machinery car. Two orange plastic US steel girders with all the data outlined in black or black plastic with only US steel outlined in white were the usual loads. However, Lionel made the 214 plate girder bridge with different girders, so these could have been used with the 6418. For the second year in a row, the Congressional was the last set cataloged, but this year it was headed by the new 2360-1 GG1 and the set renumbered 2274W. The Congressional is everyone's favorite, but putting together a correct set can be difficult. The reason is the striping for the passenger cars is the same as 1955's, so Lionel probably used the same vendor both years. Many 1956 cars use the shiny knuckle pin, but more importantly, the boxes use the new 1956 design that omitted the stock number from all four sides. Besides the 51 Navy Switcher, Lionel also introduced the 400 Bud RDC car, 3360 operating burrow crane, and 3927 track cleaning car. In 1956, Lionel continued to catalog the trolley and the gang car, and both units were modified. Vents were added to the roof of the trolley, and the bumper changed from a two-piece to a solid one-piece design. Even the box changed. The gang car's box also changed, as well as the plastic posts. They were shorter, and the bumper support bars pointed down instead of up. The new 3494-150 operating boxcar was only offered for separate sale, as was true of the 3530 operating generator car. The generator car is a collector favorite and was made several ways. As illustrated in the catalog, the white painted stripe extended through the end of the car. However, Lionel may have had some trouble with the paint mask 
because the car was also made without the extended stripe in 1956. The fuel tanks were molded in either blue or black plastic, as was the base for the transformer pole that was also offered for separate sale. Of course, the rarest single variation is the generator car with the EMD 3530 underlined. The 6464-300 Rutland was cataloged again, but had heat stamped lettering. New 6464 boxcars included the classic 325 Sentinel. This collector favorite was only offered for separate sale, with a variation missing the dot above the letter I. The 6464-375 Central of Georgia and 6464-450 Great Northern were only listed for separate sale in the consumer catalog. Some Great Northern doors were made without the yellow stripe. The 350 MKT was another 6464 boxcar listed only for separate sale. It was, however, offered in uncatalogued set 9606. As shown in the 1956 Sears Christmas catalog, the set included a 2016 steam locomotive, 6026W whistle tender, 3484-25 operating box car, 6562-25 canister car, 6464-350 MKT box car, 6025 tank car, and 6257-50 caboose. Of interest is the Santa Fe operating box car was reissued. Besides having 1956 truck features, it used a new style box and was cast in the Type 2 body that included the outline of the insert used in the manufacture of the 6352 ICE car. As mentioned in our 1955 video, the 6352 was included with the 352 ICE depot. It used the same 6464 shell, but the roof and side needed adjusting to allow for the swinging action of the doors. When Lionel went back to making boxcars, the outline from the modification was visible. Also, the inside plastic brace for the 6352 was molded either to the left or right of the gusset. The 6562-1, with the suffix on the box only, was also offered in 1956. It was molded in several shades of gray plastic with maroon or red lettering. Brand new operating accessories included the 253 automatic block signal, 257 station with horn, 342 operating culvert loader, 410 billboard blinker, 464 lumber mill, and the 465 sound dispatching station that came equipped with a microphone and speaker. Also new was the 89 flagpole with only 48 stars, since Alaska and Hawaii were not admitted as states yet. The 352 ice depot also changed slightly as the cylinder yoke was removed in 1956 or late 1955. Lionel had good news for stockholders too. The company made $1,500,505.